Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your May 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's get straight into your reading. So let, what do we have for Gemini please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Gemini. We're pulling your overarching oracle card for the month. There it is. Oh, I like that energy. We have Cultivating Prosperity. The abundance of the universe is pouring into my life. This is abundant energy. Uh, there's growth here. Very nice energy, Gemini. Okay. It feels like what, it's almost like the seeds that you've been sowing, you're beginning to, you're beginning to see the benefit or soon will in May can resonate from now till the end of May. I'm releasing these a little early. Okay, so we have get more information. So there may well be a reason to get more information this month. Uh, but we have remain positive. Don't lose faith or hope. If you feel you are doing, there is absolutely an energy of cultivating prosperity. Your energy seems linked to that. You know, law of attraction energy, what we put out to the universe is what we get back. Um, law of attraction is very much to do with our energy, how we perceive something as well, our situation. Okay, positive energy gets positive reward, negative energy gets negative reward. Okay, so what do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Gemini. So I'm going to pull four cards, Gemini, and then we clarify, as you know by now, go deep into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates for you. And I'll pull four cards, which roughly works out as one card per week, though divine timing and all that. People are at different life stages, the energies may well overlap, but the message remains the same. Okay. <clears throat> Gosh, my voice was going then. <laughs> okay, so what do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Geminis. Thank you. Okay, two cards there. Three cards. Oh my goodness, they're all major arcana. So we've got the sun here, which is a growth card. Uh, we have the high priestess and your ruler, the magician, Mercury. Loving that energy. I mean, it just feels like. <laughs> There's a very magnetic energy there. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords card of Gemini right next to those major arcana. Lovely energy, Gemini. And then we have the Page of Swords and Page of Cups. <coughs> okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Gemini. Thank you. What do we have for Gemini? Can we clarify the cards on the table for May 2021, please, for Gemini? Thank you. Okay, Knight of Wands. Oh my goodness, Gemini, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> and that's with your card. Gosh, your ruler, your card appearing, Knight of Swords. Page of Swords, we have the Five of Cups. And Page of Cups, we have the Ace of Wands. My goodness. Bottom of the deck. I like the Four of Swords with this energy. Okay. So, Gemini. <laughs> I mean... If you didn't think that, if you thought that you weren't being watched over by the universe, there's definitely an energy of think again because there is a divine light shining on you. This is very much about listen to your intuition. Listen to how you're being guided. This is also to do with any deep-seated fears or, or doubts or... Things that might be coming to the surface, you know, that need to be released. This is turning it into the energy of action and manifestation now. 
um, because you know the sun energy is a card of absolutely stepping into your light but you have the opportunity to bring success into your life when the sun comes in it's a card of success it's a card of good news growth life vitality um, celebration joy it's a happy happy energy and it's almost kind of like now is your time to step into the spotlight like i said there's a lot of magnetism here you know the magician is that a really magnetic energy when you're in your power there's no stopping you and you're being told to step into your truth here your soul power the high priestess um the magician is somebody who understands how to turn something negative to positive an idea to reality base metal to gold and it's interesting that second week i can see you going for the gold so love this energy this is about knowing that when you are in your power when you're using all your talents and resources and focusing them and not letting any and I, i'm getting this subconscious energy from some of you you know a subconscious sometimes brings things to the surface to be released you know deep-seated things that might have happened days months weeks years ago and sometimes things that happen may be repetitively and i don't know why i'm saying this but sometimes when history seems to repeat itself or you know we have some deep-seated fears it is an energy of things just coming to the surface finally to be released for you to finally step into your light i'm definitely getting this energy gemini because there is absolutely an energy of you have the magic you can be the trailblazer here this is a trailblazing energy we have fiery energy here fire on fire along with these cards This is a lovely energy. I mean, the Knight of One, the Knight of Wands, or the Knight of Rods, uh, card of Sagittarius, can be opportunity coming your way or manifesting opportunity. Most definitely, very good in terms of something that links to your heart and soul. We have potential moving, relocating with these energies, or new jobs, careers, businesses uh, being set up. You might be setting up your own business, or there may well be some kind of job offer, business offer, partnership offer, call it what you will, um, or some investment coming your way. You know, it could be something that you are taking action towards to make happen. And interestingly enough, the Knight of Wands can leave. The negative behind him the challenge you know he gets on the horse pulls the reins of his life is all fired up and he charges ahead and doesn't look back so and it's sometimes kind of an energy of thank goodness that period of my life is over with which is why i'm getting this surrender energy you know there is something to surrender release because i'm definitely feeling some kind of power and magnetic shift within you you coming into your power here it feels very very beautiful indeed And here we have, you know, Gemini, the Knight of Swords can be communication, conversation that brings change, uh, some piece of information, you know, data, call it what you will. Uh, but there is this communication energy, which is also reinforced by the magician that is bringing change that is opening a new door for you, new door, next phase, next level, call it what you will. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, like I said, it just feels... I'm, you know, I'm finally feeling the shift. I'm finally seeing the progress. I'm finally hearing something. I'm finally getting the information I need. You know, it just, that's, that's bringing this change. These energies, these are the two fastest nights. I just see this, this surge of, of things happening. Probably the first two weeks I'm looking at here in May, um, but yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. It's a gift. This is a gift. And again, law of attraction energy. This is the beginnings of abundance, which is very much tying in with this card. Um, it's a lovely energy in money and career. It's a lovely energy in terms of moving, relocating as well, or investment or loan approval or something coming in that is just helping you open a new door next level. 
And I just see all the flourishing here, you know, just the flowers, the the growth, you know, things are finally growing. Uh, they're ready to be reaped, you know, it's that kind of energy. And it means, Gemini, that you can finally cut ties. What you're learning here, what you're hearing, is allowing you to finally cut ties with the negativity that you've experienced because again i'm definitely getting this in this energy there are things that need to be released here you can finally move on from regrets something that's been making you feel down loss job loss maybe um or it could be job loss could be whatever it could be you know relationship loss um you know, it, it, I mean, there's levels to the Five of Cups. It can be a card of something that just makes you feel down. Something that has been difficult to move on from the negative to see the positive here. But there is definitely these future moving energies. And this is a future moving energy as well, the Page of Swords, which is the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. And it's the Wind of Change card. My focus is finally looking forward and not looking back. Yeah. And then, you know, there is absolutely recovery, recovery. Now, sometimes when I see this card, I do say take a break, Gemini, when you need to, because you like a lot of plates spinning at once. <laughs> and there is a lot of intense energy the first couple of weeks of May for some of you. Um, take a break when you need to that is definitely what i'm getting here but i'm also seeing some level of recovery and things beginning to look up for you could be some happy news again maybe to do with what this knight of wands was bringing into you what you were trying to manifest with this knight of wands maybe some communication with to do with the opportunity that this knight of wands represented to you i see the ace of wands being manifested here things looking up we have the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change you know the the page of cups is a feel-good energy it's it's an energy, certainly with these energies, I just want to give this a go. My heart is just wanting, is connected to this opportunity. I just want to dive straight in. You know, things are absolutely looking up. I'm feeling uplifted. It's, a, it's an innocent kind of happiness because it feels like you're releasing something that has got you down, the weighted energy. So things feel a lot lighter towards the end of the month. Um... Again, the Ace of Wands is, can be an exciting opportunity, very good in terms of business career. It's linked to your heart and soul. If you, if you have visited somewhere and, you know, maybe a state or a, or a town you know, or a county and you just felt an affinity there, this can be your heart and soul asking you to take action to move there. You know, if there was a hobby that you thought, yeah, I need to get this moving, um, I'm going to see where it leads. I'm going to give it a go, this innocent energy of the pages. Let's just give it a go. I'm curious and just see where it leads me. You know, it's this kind of energy that, that you have with the Ace of Wands. Um, it's an inspired action. I don't know why, but now is the time for me to just take action and just see where it leads me. And there is the saying from God, the universe, the divine, this is absolutely connected to your destiny. These are destiny energy. These are also seed cards. You know, this is something that will promise growth and abundance. Um, and again, like I said, it can be an opportunity, an offer as well for some of you or a door that you absolutely just want to open and give a go to. Um, but it feels very beautiful for me, Gemini, I have to say. Uh, I was getting this trail. The, the first thing that I, I felt when I saw those cards was trailblazing. Because there's this wonderful feeling of, of release. And you not, might not be fully aware of how or why you're doing that. But it just feels like there's, there's release. And you're just going for something. You're just finding progress. You're just getting clarity in how you want to move on. And the, the emotional energy or the energy that may have held you back before. It just feels like it's not really... Uh, obstructive this month so it just feels very beautiful it feels like there's a lot of release we have life energy sun energy yeah the happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life giving energy she reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed but this is light energy again 
stepping into your light, seeing the light. I'm definitely getting this kind of trailblazing energy as well. It feels beautiful. Two aces. So there's definitely new chapters, new levels, new opportunities worth exploring. And I definitely see for some of you, you're going for it, heart and soul. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.